hi everyone today i am going to teach you how to find the average of numbers using matlab uh, we will write down the function to find the average first of all keyword function then output output average is fine then we will write the function name it could be anything like average these brackets are empty it means we will take input in the function like why is num num is the input as enter the array of numbers okay then we will find the length of numbers built in function length is used to find the length of numbers now we will write wait a second first sum will be initialized with zero it will be used later now we will run for loop here is the iteration iteration from 1 to length of loop length ok then sum sum plus every index of the array here is the sum first the 0 is in the sum then there will be first index plus zero it will be saved here it will work as the loop do function is closed now now we will find average average is sum divided by length ok now we will display our answer first average of numbers is display average suppress it ok the function now we will have to run the function first it will be saved now here is these brackets are necessary because we are entering an array like Two five. Wait a second. There is an error in line fourteen. Why is this error so? Just because of this sum. Okay. Clear it. Run the function again. Two and five here. Ok the function is working correctly we will check it again run the function enter the array 2 3 5 7 ok we will verify our answer by adding all these numbers and divided by their length that is 4 2 3 5 7 are the numbers ok 2 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 the answer is 17 17 by 4 the answer is 4.25 here it is and there is the answer of function ok the function is working correctly let's check it for two numbers is it working correctly Five. 
seven the average should be six and here average is six okay the function is working well thank you for watching the video and please subscribe it if you need any help related to these functions uh, you can contact me using my mail well thank you i hope this has helped you